next, how Queen Rocky turns hundreds of pounds into hundreds of dollars. How much do you charge for this? $300 an hour. Yes. And it goes up depending on what you want to do. And later, the weight debate really heats up. I respect you for being you. Respect me for being me. of flat exploitation when full-figured women gain notoriety and even make money because of their size and sexual ways. Still with me is Queen Rocky and Gem and Eddie from Gem and Eddie from our famous squashing videos in the past. Um, Queen Rocky, you're, um, you weren't born Queen Rocky. You're, this comes out of some tragedy. Tell me about the tragedy that, we, that you went through and how you started doing the squashing and leading plus-size women in, on the sexual revolution. Well, um, in 2001, my husband passed away. He was the sole provider for me and my daughter. And um, when he passed away, I was devastated, you know? Mm -hmm. In 2002, I said, how is a way that I can make extra money? I mean, the way I was taught in school, no one wanted me behind their desk. I couldn't be a receptionist. I wanted to be with my daughter. And I knew about squashing from online. And I said, you know, it seems like I'm built for this. You know, I'm a big woman. I could squash somebody. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so um, I started my website because I wanted to do it in a way that wasn't um, overpowered by a lot of the domination and sexualness. Mm. I wanted to take the sexual out of it, make it more like a sport, like endurance tense, like, can you take me sitting on you? <laughs> you could do it. Come on. <laughs> you can take this. So I said, let me turn it around, make it more of a sport. And actually, my work, um, being Queen Rocky, has funded my online magazine for size, acceptance, and empowerment. So I turned my whole life around, and now I'm a size activist. <laughs> video um, of you on your website. Can you walk us through what we're about to see? No problem. Okay. Okay, right here, I'm using this man as human furniture. Here, I'm actually standing on him, full weight, for 30 seconds. He did really well with this. And it's great. I mean, he enjoyed it. I was like, wow. So there was no pain involved? It was more pleasure um, It was a, more, a lot of pressure. He actually trains. Here I'm squashing him and I'm laying on him, giving him full body pressure. And in this way I can move back and forth and pressure his body in different ways, different still ways. allowing him to breathe, still allowing him to do what he needs to do. Until, but laying on top of him. You know. Okay, Rocky, I gotta ask you this. You said there's not a lot of sexual stuff, it's a sport. But when you right. lay it on top of him, can't you feel certain things happening? <laughs> Actually, I have a very strict policy with my clients and they know exactly what I'm doing, that it's here for a sport, it's not sexual. Now, let's say something were to happen, we know immediately everything is to cease. He has to calm down before we resume. <laughs> so you, before you, you move know, on to the next I thing. I mean, sometimes you can dance with a guy and you feel something, so yeah. sometimes you gotta back up a little back bit. Up. Okay. But they respect me, and that's the most part. They respect what I do. They know that it's not sexual gratification. And what it is is basically, I, I have even taught women how to squash their husband. Of course, I lose a client, but hey, <laughs> now they can have fun at yeah. home, you know? So how much do you charge for this? Is it an hour charge? Or yeah, how, I how start much? by the hour, $300 an hour. <laughs> yes, and it goes up depending on what you want to do. You want me to stand on you, it's going to cost more. So $300 an hour, and where do you go? Like, do you do, well, do they it come depends. to you? Oh, well, it depends because we have to meet at a neutral location. I'm never alone, have to be with a third party. It has to be where no one, it's not like someone's home or anything like that. And usually I bring friends with me so that I'm never alone. Oh, you're smart. What yeah, about injuries? Anybody ever get injured? I am very careful. Yes, I'm 600 pounds. So I test the person carefully, sitting on them slowly, giving a little bit of weight at a time. And if I feel that, if they feel or I feel that they can't take it, then I just hold myself up. And a lot of times I hold my own weight up. And until, you know, they're until getting they can take pressure, it. So like slowly. You know, you got to do it slowly. Okay, now you say yours is not sexual, but for Jim and Eddie, it is sexual. So what do you think about squashing that is sexual? Or women like yourself that do the charging by the mm -hmm. hour, but that the guys are getting aroused and that's part of it and that's okay. Um, I think that for a couple such as these two, 
that that's fine. You are putting me out of business. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's fine. I encourage it because naturally, when you love a big woman, one of the things you love is being enveloped by her body. Uh -huh. She's big. And even for women who like big men, they are big, they are soft, they are warm. You want to be enveloped in that teddy bear hug and embrace. And for them, it's something, as long as they do it carefully, it's fine. Now, yes, there are other women out there who I have heard may do this on a more sexual level. I'm not one of them. It's like squashing prostitution. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I don't want to say that because I'm not into the details. <laughs> I don't know, nor do I want to know. But they do exist. Okay. okay. Um, and what type of clients do you have? Is it married men, single men? Uh, what type? Well, men with money, obviously. Obviously, men who either, and some people, they save. They save up for this. So I've oh. had young guys say, I can't wait till my 18th birthday. And I say, wait a minute, no. Okay, let's wait till you're a little older than 18. But married men, men in relationships, men and women who are in a relationship who are trying to learn how to do yeah. this. What about men that are with a skinny woman because that's what society accepts, but yes. really, <laughs> he's really down for thick. Do you have um, that too? I, I, I have to say there are a lot of those. Yeah. And I often talk to them because I always talk to them and I say, you know, why don't you just get a larger woman? And they say, well, it wasn't accepted. Or I love my wife. She just happens to be smaller. And I say, mm. you want to know if that makes you happy. But it would be great if you could share this with your wife. So there's a whole new closeted man. <laughs> it's not closet down low gay. <laughs> it's closet down low with a skinny woman who yeah. really wants something thick. Oh, that's yeah. another show. <laughs> so then when we come back, we are going to see video of Raki with one of her clients, a first time client and then he's gonna come on the stage and talk about it and he was one of the closet boys that I'm talking about we'll be right back